How's it going everyone? Mitch here with another tips and tricks video. In this video I'm going to be talking about vocals, vocal tracks, and how to make them nice and spread out on the stereo spectrum, as I'd like to call it. Alright, so to talk about stereo space in general, we need to talk about what that actually means. Alright, so we have mono and stereo one versus the other. All right. Mono is one track right down the middle and that means that one track is being sent to both ears. Uh, so nothing can be panned, nothing of the sort. Stereo space or stereo, having something in stereo means basically there's two mono tracks, one being sent to both ears, both sides of your head, both sides of your speakers, whatever. All right. So what we need to take into effect and what we need to realize is there's a vocal or there's a stereo spectrum okay um, all the way to the right is at one extreme all the way to the left is at the other extreme as in all volume in one side all volume on the other side and there is an in-between state and that could be you know some volume in this on the right ear more in the left ear and that's going to be somewhere on the spectrum alright so even though we have two mono tracks aka stereo where you have this huge spectrum of places that we can set um, portions of audio when we're mixing and we need to realize this as producers to we need to take advantage of this stereo spectrum alright and as you can see I'm going to show you how to do that with vocals alright very simple enough alright so let's take a look at what this song sounds like or what these vocals sound like right now Nope. You're saying you can't do this alone. You can't do this alone. You can't do this alone. All right. So basically, I have an EQ, compression, and a de-esser on each track, and then I'm sending it to an effect bus or auxiliary track with a little bit of reverb and even a less amount of delay. Um, it's going to be around 5% feedback on both ears in the stereo delay. And so that's just basically what I would do on most any track. Okay. Um, what we're going to be doing is using a plugin called the Direction Mixer. And open it up. Let me talk about this really briefly. What we can do is spread out the actual vocals um, in the stereo spectrum. Okay. So right here at zero spread all vocals are being sent right down the middle okay if you start spreading it out those vocals are going to be expanding and going to the size of the stereo spectrum and we can use this direction to say send it more to the right send it more to the left alright it's kinda cool this is a really cool and effective plugin learn to use it I would highly suggest that alright so as you can see I have this direction mixer on my background vocals and then I'm going to be setting it, the, the settings I like to use is anywhere from 1.5 to 1.6 spread. And then move the direction to about positive 6. Okay, So this is saying I'm going to be sp separating my vocal or my background vocals to both sides of the stereo spectrum. I'm going to be panning it a little bit to the right. Okay, and Then what's going to happen is I'm going to copy this over to my main track. But since this is the main vocals, I'm going to make it very small in the spread, 0.4 to 0.5. And then I'm going to move it about point or negative 3 to negative 6. I'm going to say negative 3. You don't want it to be a huge amount of offset, especially for your main vocals, but um, just enough. Okay. So we have uh, your foreground slightly to the left and our background slightly to the right more than our main track okay and what this is gonna give us is a nice effect that takes um, that uses more of that stereo spectrum that I've been talking about in this video so let's take a listen to it you're saying you can't do this alone you can't do this alone alright so let's listen to it again with them off you're saying you can't do this alone Alright, so those vocals are being sent right down the middle, but with the directional mixer on, it splits them up a little bit, makes them sit nice and tight with each other, um, makes them sound very in tune with each other, 
yet very apart from each other. You can definitely tell both vocals um, from each other, and that's exactly what you're going for. All right. Uh, so yeah, that's all I really had to talk about today. Um, one tip, something to take into account, is to make sure that your tracks are in stereo, and you can tell that by this the two circles overlapping here, and if you have two bars on your volume slider thing. Yeah. All right. So if you have any questions on this or have suggestions on future videos, hit me up in the comments or a message. And uh, please comment, rate, subscribe like usual, and I will be seeing you very soon. This is Mitch. Peace out.